This video will show you how to create an item in HDPO as Smart. For that, you need to go to the Setup option from the main screen. Go to the Item option in the Setup. Click on Add Item. You will get a new window Add New Item. Barcode. Barcode displays the barcode as defined in the code format. This can also be changed by clicking on the button Define My Own Barcode. Name. The user is supposed to add an item name in this view. In this case, I am adding Lux. Name in regional language. After clicking on settings option, the user can add the item name in any particular font. For that, the user needs to click on change font. And select a font from the given options. If the font is not available in the option, the user needs to download that particular font from the internet and click on OK. The user can also change the logo or remove the logo and click on apply. Now I can type the name of the item in my required font. The user has to define a category for the above item. For that, click on the three dotted button here. Click on add category. Type the name of your new category in the text box here. In this case, I'm adding deodorant. You can also have a description about the category in the text box below name if you want. And then click on create. Now select your category from the category manager. Search code. It has been added to the item screen to help retailers enter a short name or ID for an item which they can easily search for that item. Is active checkbox. By default, while creating an item, this option is checked. Is active indicates that the item is currently active. If this option is unchecked, it would mean that item is not currently available for use and will not be visible for item selection in any of the modules. An item can also be made inactive if we need to create another item with the same name. By default, no two items can have the same name. However, with the is active option, we can create several items with the same name, with only one item being active and the rest being inactive. Is purchased. By default, this option is also checked while creating an item. Selecting this option would mean that the item we are selling is purchased from outside and is not created in our own store. Is measured at the time of sale checkbox. This option is mainly for those who are using metric scales to measure, for example, while making a sale of loose fabric. Has label. This is an unique ID that a product has, mostly in electronic items. Once this checkbox is selected, the user needs to define a label number at the time of receiving or selling that item. Is auto make. This allows the user to make a product at the time of sale. If the stock of that item does not exist, an automake item will need a BOM defined which the user can do by clicking on BOM management button. The best example for item which is automake is pizza. Where we can specify the BOM items as the ingredients of a pizza like pizza base, tomatoes, olives, mushrooms, etc. Weighing scale used while selling checkbox. If this option is selected, then the selected item's weight will need to be checked and entered as for the weighing scale at the time of sale. After selecting this option, you will see a new section Phoenix Weighing Scale Settings. These settings are specific to only Phoenix Weighing Scales users. Use Phoenix Weighing Scale checkbox. User needs to check this option only if he is a Phoenix Weighing Scale user. After selecting this option, the user will also have to ensure that the barcode is preceded by the letter W followed by 5 digit number with the total character of 6. Item code in Phoenix Wing Scale This is the unique number for an item in the Phoenix Wing Scale. The code can have any value ranging from 1 to 4000. For any further details, go to www.nithiraj.net. Other weighing scale users can just click this checkbox and go ahead for other options. A service item checkbox. If this option is selected, then the selected item will be treated as a service item, which can be purchased from the supplier through receive item entry and can make sales of this item. But for this item, there are no stock maintained. 
user cannot see the stock quantity of the service item anywhere. This settings will be useful in many cases like parlors, saloons, etc. Where any service like a haircut, massage or facial can be entered as an item. Is sort item checkbox. This option allows the user to make the item as sort item. Only this item user allows making sort definition. More details will be provided in the item sort definition video. Tax applicable while purchasing. The tax selected here would be applied at the time of purchasing goods. For that, click on the three dot button here. If you want to add a tax, click on add tax. Or simply select the tax from the tax manager and click on OK. Tax applicable while selling. User can either type the first few letters of the tax or click on the three dotted button here. Either select a tax from the tax manager or to add a tax click on add tax. Type the name of your new tax in the text box here. Type a value for the tax and click on add. Now select the tax and click on ok. Purchase measuring unit. The user can either type the first few letters of the unit in the text box here or click on this button. To add a new unit, click on add measuring unit. Type the new unit here and click on OK. Or simply select a unit and click on OK. Same thing you can do for sales measuring unit. Purchase unit price. This is the purchase price for a single item. This field does not have any value at the time of creation of an item but will get a value when the item is purchased through received item entry. One purchase unit is equal to one sales unit. Value entered here would be more than one only if the item is not sold in the same quantity as the purchase quantity. Sales unit price. The user has to enter the selling price per unit in this text box. The user can also mention the sales unit MRP here. To add an item photo, click on add photo. Select the location of the photo and click on open. You can also remove the item photo by clicking on remove photo. Item description. The user can enter specific details of the item in the text box here. User field list. The user can define his own fields if he wants to give more details for an item. As here, color and size. To add the user field, the user needs to go to the custom fields through settings. Clicking on create and continue will save the item detail and it stays on the same window for entering next item. Clicking on cancel will cancel the item. Clicking on create, it will save the item and close the window. Your item got added in the item manager.